Hi, this is Fred. I want to show you the new features in BigBlueButton 3.0, which we just released on March 2025. So as an instructor, there are lots of new capabilities to make it easier for you to engage with students. Let's take a look. First is the new chat features. You'll be able to edit, delete, add emojis, and reply to chat messages. So to show this, I'm actually in BigBlueButton here, and I have Firefox up and running. So here I have two students, so let's try some chat. Uh, welcome to the class. And if I flip over, you can see the messages are visible. So if I go to student A, I can actually do an emoji. I could say yes. And let's go over to student B. Here I can just add my vote to an existing emoji. So if I click on it, and as a teacher, I can move my mouse over and see the names of which ones are given emojis. Pretty cool. I also have the ability to edit my post. So I could say welcome to the class today. And now it will change. And if I flip back, I can see that it says today for everybody. Anybody can reply to a message as well. So let's say I wanted to reply to this. I am looking forward to this class. And how it appears is that the original message is quoted and the replies go underneath. Now you can delete a message as well. Any user can delete their own message. So I could delete my message here. And if I flip back over, it shows it was deleted. And as the moderator, which is shown here, I have like a square avatar, I can delete any other message. So if I want to delete this user's message, I can. The importance of this is I could still always clear the chat, but previous versions, if students shared something inappropriate, you would have to clear the whole chat. Now with BigBlueButton 3.0, you can just delete the individual messages. Cool. All right, let's go to the next one. New display of poll results as graphs. So I have some sample slides here. And let's say I've got a uh, slide. We'll use the smart slides in Big Blue Button, which has a question at the top, A, B, C, D, E. Big Blue Button has read the text into memory and looks at it and says, hmm, I think that's a poll question. So it gives you a poll button for A, B, C, D, E. So let's click in it and I'll show you how the polls look now. So again, I'm gonna switch over to my two students. So you see the result come up. What are the rings of Saturn made of? Well, clearly it's gummy bears. So if I choose here, and you can see the results coming in live. Gummy bears, flip back as the instructor. I can cancel it or I can publish the poll results. Now when I publish it, these actually come in as a graphical object. So they're drawn instead of using characters, which means I can zoom in on it. I can use the whiteboard tools to highlight. And also you'll notice here in the chat, it's displayed as a nice graph. So if I flip over to the students, they, I'll make this a little bit larger they will see it as a nice graph as well. Just a really better way to show the poll results. And the next one, if I go back to the first page, uh, new whiteboard shapes and highlight tool. So for this, I'm going to flip over to the default presentation, which has a bunch of blank pages in it. So you can see me drawing on the whiteboard here. Uh, it's as before, I can click, I can move items around, but the new whiteboard shapes are here in this little upward chevron. So I can do checkboxes, uh, I can do, uh, that's a cancel box, that's a checkbox. I also have the ability to do highlight. So I can highlight any text on the screen. This is really good for calling out parts of the slides. If you wanna delete all the objects, you can just do like control A, which will select everything. And then I can just tap delete. So it's really easy to just move objects around, select them all, delete them if you wanna clear the whiteboard. Okay, let's switch back. All right, so uh, new raise hand and leave capabilities. So you can see below there's a button here that'll raise the hand. And if I switch over to the students again, they have it. So I'm gonna click, raise hand. I see the student that raised their hand. And just so you can see, if I actually raise my hand for both students, Big Blue Button will show you the order in which the students raise their hand. I can click on any individual one to lower it. Or I can lower all of them. So there's also a leave button as well. So I, as a student or instructor, I can click to leave a session. It will leave right away. If I do this as a teacher, I actually have two options where I can end the session for everybody. And that's an easy way to just basically close the session. We made it very easy now to leave. The last bit is where the session information is. So it used to be in the chat and it would scroll off. This is like the welcome message we call. Now it's available just here under the title of the session. So if I click it, 
You can see it will display the information and also it picks up some URLs. So this is really nice here. Depending on your front end, if you have a join URL, you can just click, copies to the clipboard, and you can share it with other people. Lots of nice smoothing out of Big Blue Button 3.0. You'll find it a bit more responsive, a bit more scalable. And these are all the capabilities we designed based on feedback from teachers like yourself. That's a look at what's new in Big Blue Button 3.0. Please keep the feedback coming. Our goal is to build the world's most effective virtual classroom measured in learning outcomes. Thanks for watching and have a great day.